What do you think will happen when I drop this end of the chain? I promise the reaction will surprise you and you'll get to see it in a second with the gravity defying chain mountain experiment. Hi everyone, I'm Emily Calandrelli, MIT engineer and host of Emily's Wonder Lab. And on my channel, we get to learn about all things space and science. So grab some friends because you're about to witness something amazing. What you need for this one is a glass and a 50 foot long 3.5 millimeter ball chain. And the first thing you wanna do is just dangle your chain completely in the glass, making sure that you are layering it on top of each other because what we're going to do is we're going to drop this chain out of the glass and we don't want it to get tangled up. So let's go ahead and see what happens when we drop our chain. Three, two, one. Look at that, look at that, look at that! Did you see that? The chain fell out incredibly easily, but the coolest part of that was the bump on top of here that the chain formed. How did the chain seemingly jump out of the glass? Where was that force coming from that allowed it to jump out of the glass like that? That was really weird, right? Well, scientists are still trying to understand why this happens, but let me explain to you the most popular theory. As the chain is falling, it's falling like this. Now look at these balls right here. They're getting pulled upward, right? You see that? As the chain falls, those balls in the glass are being pulled upward. And the most popular theory that explains this tries to imagine these balls as a seesaw. And when one of them gets pulled upward, it's exerting a downward force on the chain below it. And so when this ball right here that's sitting on all those chains gets pulled upwards, it's exerting a downward force on the chain below it. And what happens when we exert a downward force on something? It wants to lift up. Just like if I wanna exert a downward force on the ground, I lift up. And so as the balls get pulled out of the glass, they're exerting these teeny tiny forces on the chain below it. The next ball gets pulled up, it exerts a little tiny force. The next ball gets pulled up, it, it exerts a little tiny force. The next ball gets pulled up, it exerts a little tiny force. And all of those little forces combine together to create our hump that comes out of the glass. We're gonna do it again in three, two, one. Ooh, that got pretty hot. The hard part about this experiment is that it just takes a while to get your chain in the glass. And so if you just drape it over your shoulder like this, you can much more quickly place it in the glass. Because what you don't wanna happen is for the chain to get tangled up in itself as it's falling out of the glass. You just wanna make sure it's layered on top of each other nicely. Go, 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 go. Da, da, da. Wow, that was so much faster. That was a great idea. Good job. Ah, okay, oops. One of the ways to get your bum to go a little bit higher is to stand on something taller. So you wanna bring your glass a little bit higher. How high can I go? <laughs> okay, we're gonna do it again in three, two, one. Whoa, 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 whoa. <gasps> that was very cool. Okay, cool. The other way that you can make it get a little higher is to use a longer strand of beads. I'm using a 55 foot strand of beads, but if you can buy two of those and connect them, making like a 110 foot strand of beads, that will get your bump to go even higher. Another way to make your bump bigger is to really whip your chain downward because that increases the force upward, which increases that force from the seesaw balls downward, pushing that bump a little bit higher. Three, two, one. Look at that. Thanks for making a gravity defying chain mountain with me. If you like this one, be sure to check out my best selling Stay Curious and Keep Exploring book series for 99 more science experiments. I'm Emily Calandrelli. Subscribe for all things science and space. And remember, stay curious and keep exploring. I'll see you next time.